Across the globe and throughout time, the stories of women have been difficult to uncover. There are women that have come before us and we don't know their names, we don't know their histories. Stories of our mothers, our sisters, our daughters have been overlooked and forgotten. Until now. Making History is a series about women by women. Eight female historians share their findings on eight women from the past as Making History launches its first installment, The Untold Stories of African American Women. Cherry Folks was a mixed race woman born into slavery in 1757 and worked as a domestic in homes owned by John and Mary Ridout. So Charity Folks was a well-known woman in Annapolis, Maryland. And when I say well-known, I, I mean that she was enslaved in the house by some of the most prominent people in Annapolis. Daddy. Charity lived with just one of her five children, her daughter and namesake, Charity Folks Bishop. And sister and brother. Her four other children and husband were dispersed across many miles of Ridout properties. One of the most horrific experiences is being taken from your child. What about the child being sold away? Charity dreamed of one day being free and owning a home where she, her husband, and all of her children could live together under one roof. Slavery was about negotiation, and it's a negotiation between the slaveholder and the enslaved. A number of northern states had gradual abolition legislation after the American Revolution. Charity folks tried to capitalize on this moment. I must implore you, I need my children to be together. African Americans were gaining their freedom, some by running away, some by going and fighting for the British, and some staying loyal to the United States. So instead of running away, she just tried to barter herself and her children and ask for ways in which her family could one day become free. Despite her endeavors to fight for freedom, Charity would continue to be enslaved for many years. In 1797, the death of her enslaver would alter the course of her life forever. John Ridout directed his heirs to give her 12 Spanish silver dollars and other aspects of his estate at the time of his death. At the age of 40, she gained her freedom by a, a deed, an actual deed. For the next 20 years, Charity saved her hard-earned money and eventually achieved her dream of purchasing property for her family. She owned four or five pieces of property at the time of her death. So for a black woman, this is quite incredible. Charity Folks' vision of freedom included a very long legacy. Her descendants went on to be part of many African-American firsts. The story of Charity Folks is but one of the countless unknown stories of women throughout history. She was a woman who envisioned her life beyond her circumstances and made that vision a reality. <laughs>